Franklin to whispers. Southwest governors responsible for killings and Shasha market. Or the Senate President Marvin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's find out. Senate President Hamed Lawan says divisive utterances by some Southwest governors were responsible for the killings in Shasha Market and Ibadan, or your state, and other violence against Northerners in the region. Lenwe, <laughs> eh? So, all the utterances by the Northern governors, they are not divisive. Eh? All the all balanced utterances, all Megiti Allah's um, utterances, they are not divisive. Wow. See, see, see reasoning. Hmm. Eh? Okay. A crisis at, on February 18th erupted in Shasha following an argument that ensued between a pregnant Yoruba woman who died. Who got killed? Who was killed? And a Yawusa businessman. <laughs> oh, oh my word. So, it is Yawusa businessman now. But I thought initially the story was, is a NJ. A NJ carrier. People that help you carry yourselves when you go to the market. A NJ carrier. Hmm? Then it was it was so many an Awusa carrier. Then they said no 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 it's a NJ carrier. Now from the Senate's uh, president's mouth, a businessman mm, that ended up killing one pregnant Yoruba woman and uh, one Yoruba shoemaker. <laughs> wow. Hmm. A Hausa businessman. So is Hausa? Hmm. Okay. Following the development, many were killed while many houses were burnt, which were in the thousands of. Eh? Why is it only houses? What of the indigents of the land? It happened on both sides. It happened on both sides. Mm. Speaking in an interview with BBC House Service, Lauren attributed the violence. So the latest call for the eviction of Fulani elders out of southwestern states. Mm? Really? <laughs> oh my word. Leadership failures in the region caused what happened in Oyo State and other things that kept happening in southwestern states, he said. Eh? way from your mouth. Leadership, you see that, that sentence, leadership failure. See, you are still talking about leadership, leadership failure in the region. Leadership failure in the, in the country is attributed to you. Yes, care. Yes, care. After all, you people started all this madness. Hmm. Some utterances by some governors also went a long way in inciting the citizens to take up harms against ethnic groups settling in their states. Oh! So the utterances by your governors, they were not inciting. Mm -hmm. Seeing hadn't have the right to go around with AK-47, that they can they can go to any forest, they can they own the land, they can go to any forest in the country. Abby, wow. Eh, the governor's utterances emboldened the criminals. Cri these are indigenous people. Defending their land, you are referring to them as criminals. So indigenous people, the rightful owners. Are, so who, 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 and what are the herders? Who and what are the herders? Hmm. The governor's utterances emboldened the criminals to unleash violence against the northerners. Uh -huh. So the herders that invaded our homeland, unleashing terror on us. Raping the women, raping the, the, the girl child, killing the men. This, I mean, oh my God! What do you what what will you call them citizens? You're going to call them citizens, Abby. 
You call them citizens. Oh my god. It's a shame. Coming from Senate, who is this? Who, who is this person? Who is this person? Lawan, what's his position? Senate president. Eh, and you are this one sided. You even. Uh, anyway, Sha. Hmm? Hmm? Uh -uh. Okay. Hmm. Mad have you ever blamed the northern governors for the daily kidnapping of school children and travelers or the killing of innocent citizens in Kaduna and Zamfara State? Well, well that is a own cup. That is a own cup of today. Let them deal with that. Hmm. The Senate president is unpatriotic here for taking side instead of teaching what that will do the already eaten atmosphere. With this unguarded entrance, his brothers can go for more of this senseless carnage. Mm. 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 Instead of seeing the truth of the matter, these people still in trouble support of criminality. No wonder why you people turn banditry to your business in your region. Tell him more. Mm. Senate President, sir, you lost it. I'm totally missing the point. Are you a sectional leader? Ask him more. Please stop this arrogance and carelessness, making of insensitive statements that could further incite unjustifiable tribal aid. Rather, as a national leader worthy and truly peace-loving, this is the time to preach tolerance, mutual respect, peace and unity. Which unity? Show real sympathy for bereaved families and losses. Have that. So it's only the outsiders that lost, eh? The Yoruba Z news. Uh, hmm. I mean, hmm. even the Senate president is taking sides in support of his irresponsible brother's carnage against the Yoruba nation and others. So devastating to hear. What a rubber stamp leadership. The, essentially, that Shasha, that is not the first time the Awud Sars will be doing things like that. But this is the first time that the Yoruba were like, enough is indeed enough. Any small thing in Shashoba and like this, they will just come for the Yorubas, be killing them, be burning their souls. But, but this time around, the Yorubas fight back. Now they are all crying wolf up and down, up and down. Eh, ti mo koko. Eh, ti mo koko. Can you imagine? Hmm. Can't be surprised any such from uh, the clueless animalistic rubber stamp senate president with Calbrain killing and attacks going on in the north were all caused by Southwest governors as well. Ah, Abio, Abio, Obamibio. Hmm. Hmm. Can you imagine? Their own house is, is leaking, no? Their roof is leaking, no? They are not bothered about that. They are, they are busy not spoken in other people's business. I beg, it was only a matter of time. The North will stay in the North. The Southwest will stay in the Everybody will go back to their land. Mm -hmm. Everybody will go back to their land. Everybody will go back to their land. Hmm. This is one of the main accomplices of ethnic cleansing in Nigeria. He and his party have no intention of protecting lives and property of Nigerians and are actually and are actually too overwhelmed with the nation's violence and insecurity in order to achieve their agenda. Mm -hmm. The time is here for every Nigerian to rise up and defend yeah, defend yourselves. Defend yourselves. That is it. Hmm. In a leader that makes this type of statement is not qualified to be a senator. I mean, look at his thinking. And he's seen it on BBC Awusa. Shabi, this is it. This is the translation that we were given. Now are we sure he didn't even say something worse than this? Eh? BBC Awusa. Just listen to this illiterate desert baboon talking on the platform of the biggest enemies of Nigeria, the British glorifying genocide. Revealing in the honestness. Hmm.
the question is, does Akari Dole have the right as Chief Executive Officer of the State of Wondo to order the evacuation of hoodlums who were branded foreigners by the same Janja with Fulani security forces? Hmm? You, you called them, you said they were foreigners. Now you are saying they are Awusas. Wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Awusa business. Oh. It shows. It shows. Hmm. Wow. Can you imagine? Hmm. Take a good look at the rubber stamp Ninkompo. Ninkompo! He's feeding fat on public money. He's, I mean, misfit spends half of his life in the pulpit defending a tyrant. Can you imagine? Mm. Yeah, you just imagine. Ah, ah. This country is in trouble. Yes, can you won't send a president's book like this, eh? So now we have we, we, we know that the president's body language, the northern heads of all security agencies and the northern governance authorities have long embodied the rapaging full and years when all over the country. This country can never be won. It has never been won. The earlier we record, realize that the better. So all those, all their own utterances up there in the north is not emboldening the, the full and the headsman. Can you imagine? The more I read statement from northern political charlatans, whether it is Magashi or Lawan, Gabashi or Obuari, the more it hurts them. And the things I share the same country with them. Mm? Nothing is more painful. And how long the pain and hurt will last, only God can reveal. It is, it is painful and shameful. Ah, a shame on you, Lawan. Shame. Mm. Hmm. The country is in trouble. It's in big trouble. Hmm. This, this country can never be won. The only we realize the, the better for all of us. But if for all of us, hmm, wow, hmm, hmm, the Senate President, in his attempt to share the atrocities of the headsmen in the southwest region of Nigeria, he became thoroughly irresponsible. Hmm, what had he done as the Senate President with complaints? Galo of Fulani has been carrying AK-47 rifles to me, murder, kidnap Yorubas, raping their wives and female children, and destroying the Yoruba families with reckless abandon. And while this dastardly atrocities were going on, the federal government headed by Bobo of Fulani in a manner that betrays the complexity of its government, characteristically, characteristically did absolutely nothing. Even in the Shasha incident, consumed by their sense of entitlement, can you imagine? Their sense of entitlement is so unreal. The Hawusa has mistreated a pregnant woman. Does the Senate President accept the Yoruba to accept that insult to me? I mean, I don't know. In, in our own land, it is unfortunate that we have this type of man with a narrow world view as the president of the country senate. I mean, they are all the same. Ah. Ah. It is so utterly nonsensical statement from another retired and demanding. Ah. 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 No one has spoken the presidency's mind. The entire South is fed up with the atrocities of, of your king's men. Can your people tolerate half of what the Yorubas and other tribes in the South have endured? The Yorubas are one of the most tolerant and hospitable tribes in the contraption called Nigeria. This type of bare-faced hypocrisy is why Nigeria cannot make progress. The atrocities of your king's men can no longer be tolerated, period. The sooner we call it peaceful, the better for everyone. Yes, so. Yes, so.
Yes, yeah, so. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. What is it? No sense. No. That was it in the Senate when they were trying to talk about this uh, this issue of um, the carnage of the Fulani. It was saying time up, time up, time up, time up, time up, time up. It didn't even give them time. It kept interrupting them. Saying time up, time up, time up. What is that? What is that? But when, when it was time to talk about breaching creek, they had all the time. Ah, uh ah, -uh, nonsense. Can the proponents of one Nigeria say themselves, after encroaching on your farmlands, they still call it artists and farmers slash, after raping your women, killing you their hosts, after they burnt and destroyed your properties, after they feed your farm produce to their cows, they continue to cripple your economy agri agricultural wise. Please, I would like to know the definition of terrorism. If it's not what I've been said above, yet, how says and foolishness are still telling you that you are the promoter of their different forms of attack on you in your ancestral land. I hope the sleeping Westerners will now wake up from their slumber before they are in vain trailers of March. Can you imagine? Yes, sir, the Senate President is having memory loss. Eh? Who told them there's a leadership problem in Southwest? It is Nigeria as a world that is having a leadership deficit. A nation that is autopiloted. A nation where scores will be killed or kidnapped without the president altering any word. The Senate president must have must have lost his memory. He does not remember the big business of kidnapping for ransom, killing and raping pop raping perpetrated by his harried brothers in the southwest and all over Nigeria. The Senate President is one of the reasons why we should divide and go our separate ways for leaders of our choice. Hmm. Every Nigerian matters though. These are enemies with them. He is afraid to tell his kinsmen Boo -boo, is a that his leadership is a failure. Eh? Bandits are paid ransom in the northern states. School children are kidnapped without any resistance from security apparatus. Boko Haram has become a national nightmare. Traveling by road in Nigeria is now a risky venture. A fraud is being, is being primed by head of EFCC. After all, he's full and it. The entire Senate is a failure. Forget about the Senate. Someday the history shall be told after Nigeria becomes history. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's it, guys. <laughs> mm. Can you imagine? <laughs> Till I come your way again. <laughs> Bye.